everybody so I got this tray at a garage sale a couple of dollars and I want to try and do a poppy spray like a poppy field flowers on it and so I'm going to do that um, probably mostly with my airbrush I'm going to do Dutch pour but I don't think I think it's too small and confined so the other day I got some sealer um, and I just put it along there in the crack. I'm hoping that it's going to make sure that the paint doesn't seep through there. We'll see. So I'm going to flood it with white and then I'm going to just play around and see if I can make some poppies. I want to try and leave the wood. So I'm going to try and just carefully... Yeah, I think this will work. Put the paint around here. And then I'll pour some on in the middle. This, I think, will keep me from messing up the sides too much. I'm just using my regular acrylic paint that I just regular. Actually, this is my house paint that I mix 50 50 with uh, school glue. And then I just add some water to thin it out a bit. Yeah, this looks like it's working. I'm getting a nice edge as long as I don't mess it up. Okay, that worked. Let's put a little bit more. I just want to make sure I don't mess up when I mess up the edges. Okay, that's good. Now I've got the same paint. Yeah. Should be enough. I'll spread it around a bit carefully. Maybe I should have primed it first. I don't think so though. I think the paint's going to be thick enough. It's going to cover that dark background. Are so good. Oops. Little chunk. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little torch, get rid of some bubbles. I'm afraid to look under the tree. Yeah, look, it's leaking. <laughs> So it won't really matter too much. I'll just clean it up. Okay, that's good. Have all those bubbles. So I'm just going to kind of do like random spray of, ooh, of poppies. Some of them will be kind of round, some of them will be kind of flopped. Okay, let's see what my airbrush will do for me today. I'll just start with those colors. Ooh. 
Yeah, a lot of the, getting a lot of cells, which I didn't really want. I'm going to see if I can sneak a bit more color in there. It's going to shrink a little bit, so I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit and see how it all lands there. I'm going to do something with that. Yeah, yeah I'll have to come back and put some centers in again. The black tends to get swallowed up a little bit. Okay, we'll leave a little bit and see what it does. Okay, it's settled down a little bit. I'll probably go back and do a little bit more black in there, but I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some little stems. Just a little bit. And this is kind of a teal green color. I'm just going to do it very fine. I'm going to use a little pipette. Just a little. Just a little hint. Okay, it's the next morning and I'm not really happy with this. I'm thinking my problem is that white paint that uh, that I've been using, uh, the house paint. Uh, it's okay, it just makes too many cells, you know? Sometimes you want cells, sometimes you don't. So I'm going to play with this a bit more because I'm not happy with it. So I'm going to, and I, I might make it worse, I probably will, because this is something I've never tried before. After it's partially dry. Woo! to add more color, but I'm going to do it because I don't like it the way it is. So here it goes. Got to think about this. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Put a bit of black in there. Oh, it might be okay. We'll see. Some black in there to try and mix it. what I 
think I like that better. I may end up covering everything that's there, but that's what I wanted is vivid color. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just doing. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it and see how we end up. Okay, today I'm being a little wild and impetuous and impatient. Normally I let things dry for about two weeks before I resin them. This has only been about six days, so it's kind of experimental. And I just, I want to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to resin it. Um... When you're working with resin, I wear gloves and uh, you should be in a well ventilated room or else wear a respirator. So I've got lots of videos where I show you how I mix my resin and all that stuff. So I'll try and I'll put a little, you know, title or something to, if you want to see how I mix my resin. But I've got my resin mixed up. I think I have the right amount. I usually just kind of eyeball it. So um, yeah, so this is going to be real easy. I'm just going to pour the resin on. I wiped, off, wiped it off with a shop cloth to get any fuzzies or anything off. And here we go. What's that? Oh, tiny little, I don't know what that is, little piece of resin. What's that? Yeah, that's okay, that's just a drip. So here we go. Just gonna pour it on, go around the outside first. Doesn't really matter. Resin self levels oh is that ever make it pop that's why i couldn't wait i wanted to see oh yeah wow get it all on and then i'll just spread it around yeah so i don't know like the only thing I'm concerned about is if um, if there is still moisture in the paint, if it will cloud, if it will cloud it. And I've cheated things before, done it sooner than, you know, the two weeks kind of thing. And I've honestly never seen a problem. This one I'm pushing a little bit more. And especially because the paint is so thick on this one. So I'm going to see. What I'm going to do is if, like I'm not going to sell this for at least three months because I want to make sure that my little experiment doesn't backfire. 
you know, and that, that it will deteriorate over time. So I'm going to hold back on selling it. And if it turns out that there is a problem, I'll pin a comment in this video. There's a warning, don't do it. Or if you don't see a comment within the three months, then you know it's fine. I think it's going to be okay. I think people are a little overly cautious with stuff. Wow, that makes such a nice difference. I don't want to get any on the wood because the wood I think the wood frame I'm just gonna leave it the way it is beautiful okay so that's really nicely covered smooth it out a bit I'll have to keep an eye on it and make sure it's staying level Wow that looks awesome okay I can take this off now I'm done touching the resin I'm just going to torch it, get rid of the bubbles. See a little area there, not quite covered. Wow. Woohoo! What a difference. So I'll just, um, for about an hour, every uh, 15 minutes or so, I'll come and do a little torch, get rid of the bubbles, but oh my goodness, does that ever look amazing. I didn't like this piece, but I'm starting, it's starting to grow on me. The resin makes all the difference in the world. bubbles out. Oh, I have to show you a close-up of this. It looks amazing. So yeah, so I'm going to, you know, check it every 15 minutes or so for about an hour, maybe two hours, and uh, just give it a little shot with the torch. Woohoo! Look at that now. Oh, what a difference it makes. Sorry about that. Darn lights, reflections. But look at that. Wow. I'm trying to get the lights out. <laughs> so here we are next morning. Turned out great. You can see. Nice and shiny. See, there you go. So, <laughs> moral of the story, don't give up on pieces. <laughs> Just think about it, put it aside, think about what you can do with it. Yeah, that turned out okay.